Welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming, my name is Nook, and today I'm going to show you how to get those sweet, sweet Hadium Flakes from the Dreadnought to get your awesome new sword. So the first one is off to the left here, down through some twisted burning rubble, thanks to the Cabal. If you turn around, boom, there's a door right in front of you. Now this one has four different spawn locations that I've seen. One over to the left by the Wormsinger Rune Shrine. Now if you don't see it there, you might see it off to the left in the corner. And again, you'll get some more Hadium Flakes. Oh, a Sublime Engram. Well, if you don't see those over there, turn to the right, and you'll see two chests. A chest that requires a key, the key of Ur, and the other one is another Hadium Flake chest. But if you do not see any of those, don't fret, because there's one more spawn location just around the corner. And this is probably where I see this chest appear the most. Heading back outside, but before you see the door up on your right, you might see a chest tucked away in the rubble here. I haven't seen it very often, but there it is. It should also be noted that above this location is a structure, and it might spawn out there. Now if you jump out to get this one, you might have to take cover behind the chest because the enemy will try to shoot your face off. Back down below at the previous chest, if you look to your left, you'll see a destroyed, ruined wall. Jumping up and around, guess what? Another Hadium Flake. Follow these stone structures up the wall toward the Cabal ship, and you may see a chest appear here or here. I personally haven't seen them, but my friend told me that they were there. Lay waste all the enemies in your path and jump over the gap toward this patrol beacon. On your left, you'll see a big working lamp, and the patrol will be on your right. Nestled down inside of here is another door. I've seen a chest here, and through the hole to your left, here. And it should also be noted that there's another Wormsinger rune shrine in this room. Back outside, up above where that patrol beacon was, you will find a knight and acolyte protecting this doorway. And for good reason. Inside, you'll see a chest right in front of you. But if you don't see that one, they could appear to the left and to the right, and in the back. And again, important to take note that this one sits right across from another chest that requires the key of Zol. Head back outside, jump over the knight and acolytes and all of this debris in the middle, and head toward the burning hot concrete structures to find another doorway. Inside, make sure to check all the corners. This one can be easily hidden. Turn back around, head to the left, and up the stairs toward the doorway. Just past the patrol beacon that's set outside of this door, you'll find another one that's nestled into a corner, and it's kind of camouflaged, so make sure to keep your eyes open when you run past this one. And believe it or not, that's the last chest on the Hadium Flake run. When I did this run, I found two legendary sublime engrams, as well as two ships, and enough Hadium Flakes to make my sweet, sweet arc sword. If you found the video helpful, please leave me a like down below and a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, and I will see you in the next video.